and as you can see there aren't that many bugs out here there aren't any hardly any insects there may be a few ants here and there but mostly there are a few little spider mites here and there and of course no no birds no birds at all but a very very pretty fig very pretty fig it's about 1 no 12 30 in the afternoon temperature today is supposed to be 97 so far yesterday the temperature was probably around 85 86 it was nice and cool and breeze blowing great great day for picking figs and eating figs and guys i can tell you i'm stuffed i've eaten so many figs and you get to a while of of realizing that you can't eat every fig you pick when you're in an orchard of nothing but figs you got to pick a few figs taste it and if it's very 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 good then you might want to eat it or just jot down your notes about how good that fig was but if you eat every fig you're gonna blow up there's just too many figs out here to eat way too many which is why there are so many here on the ground I mean my shoes are just caked with figs all over them they're just caked with figs so what I do is I bring sandals with me and during the evening time I take these shoes off I clean these shoes and I put them away and I wear sandals in the evening and I take my shoes home but this fig here another hybrid is another one that most people wanted to get it is 278 128 I have this fig at my orchard back in Charlotte North Carolina another very very good fig I love it it's sweet mine is too young to ripen but I'm gonna pick this dude and let you see how it is very pretty look at that color open eye as you know the wasp is here so that most of these figs here have been fertilized by the wasp so let's see how it looks and how it tastes sweet very sweet fig it's a honey fig which means the color is amber inside um, this one is a little bit over ripe as you can see by the darkness inside of it let me move into the light maybe see a little bit better how dark it is inside here again your buddy the wasp did that and he did a good job of it okay let's move on there are so many things to capture in this video last year I videoed the two trees that most people wanted the black Ishta and the black Madeira I never posted them online I got too many pictures to post but hey one day I'll get them posted and also the video I didn't post the video either this one again another hybrid is the placard says it is 276.49 I think I have this one also not in my orchard but I have it in a pot um, no figs for me yet this year but this tree is amazing now see I'm 6'2 this fig I can reach but John has the ladder he's a little bit shorter than I am so I'll give him the, the ladder but if I want to get a fig, I reach up and get it. And just put a limb down, and I just gonna get to get to the figs. All right. You see, Davis is a great place. No one's out here but us. We got the whole place to ourselves. The manager, John Priest, came out here earlier today to see how we were doing on our research and all. And uh, then he's gone. But we're out here all by ourselves. Nobody here but us. It's peaceful. It's quiet. Just listen. All you hear are bees swarming and we in this humongous orchard all by ourselves totally totally amazing as you can see you see Davis has a irrigation system they're all lined up each tree has its own sprinkler head again I'm on the B side of the orchard behind me here these are all olive trees they're all olives and again you see Davis don't pick fruit and give away to people they're here for genetics they want to find out what's going on in the world of figs olives peaches you name it mulberries they got them okay this tree here we're still on the B side is what let us see here ah this is a good one. This is Sucret. 
this is a good one. I picked this fig today and yesterday. Anytime I pick a fig twice, that's a good sign. That means that's a great fig. This fig has one super red interior. Just look at the figs on this tree. And the tree is just beautiful. This fig here though, as you can see, is not really ripe yet. It's kind of soft, but not there yet. So how can you tell when a fig is ripe? Well, for one thing, most figs will ooze honey from the eye when they're ripe or the neck will droop down. Here are a few figs up here to the top. I'm gonna try to reach and see if I can get one and show you how red this fig is inside. Some have a few insects in, some don't. So I don't worry about that. I mean, I'm only out here once a year, so hey, no bug's gonna stop me from eating a fig. All right, this is Sucret. This is a small one though that I picked and he's not quite ripe all the way. He has no cracks on him yet, but he's kind of soft. But you know what? We don't want that guy. He's not that ripe yet. So let me find another one. Let's see what we got here. Up here on this side of the tree. Oh, nope, not that guy. Oh, here we go. Nope. We're getting there. Okay, and here's one that has honey oozing from the eye. Take a look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Totally amazing. This dude is ripe. This dude is probably overripe. But that that seals, that sap coming out of that eye kind of keeps insects from coming in. It seals it. But ants will ants will eat that sap to get inside of it. Now, this fig also has a crack on it, which means it's ripe and it's soft. It's not super soft, but it is soft. So let's see how it looks inside, shall we? Look at that color. Totally, totally amazing. I am in fig heaven, y'all. Tony Paula Dean Donna. I am in fig heaven. This fig right here is super, super sweet. I love it. I've eaten so many, I can't eat anymore. I'm tasting them though. And I picked some for my wife to take home with me when tomorrow when I leave. And I just throw it on the ground because I just, I, I can't eat anymore. It's just too many. But this tree is just loaded with figs. There's another one that's ripe. He's ready to pick. He's ready. So what I'm gonna do in about another hour, maybe pick a few more to take home to my wife. She's back working while I'm on vacation here, walking through the orchards of UC Davis. But I love it. It's a passion that I have. All right, what else do we have here? This tree here is, ah, Armenian. This one is Armenian. And what I do is, you know, you're only out here for two days. So in order to keep notes on a tree, I take a picture of the placard. This is a placard. This is how UC Davis keeps track of the tree. They have a huge piece of wood here with a wire strapped onto the tree. And they have a metal tag, like a dog tag, that they put on here to identify the tree. So when you order cuttings, you identify the number by the DFICO number here at the top. And there's a B which tells you this came from the B side of the orchard. But they have the same tree on the A side as well. This is Armenian. This tree is a very, I would say maybe 12 feet tall already. Now it's taller than that, about, about 15 feet tall. This is a huge tree. I do not have, yes I do, I have this one also in a pot. But this is also a honey dripper. Look at this leaf. Figs above are dripping honey onto the other leaves. But again, there are no ants here. They're not eating this tree at all. Here are, here's a fig. I think it's about ready to pick. Let's take a look. Nope. Few more days up here let's see what we got here's a couple of them that are splitting a couple of uh, wasps that are in there doing their thing here's one already overripe as you can see when the fig get overripe they just fall to the ground they just fall to the ground no one picks them they just just here here's okay here's armenian that's already i guess had too much rain or 